end our visit with an Indian prince by a day of cheetah hunting. The cheetahs, like the falcons, are captured when full grown, and through their appetites are trained to do man's bidding. Each cheetah has a trainer whose sole job is to attend him at all times. When not being run, the cheetahs are kept on cotlas in front of the palace or taken for a walk in the nearby bazaars. The most picturesque method of running cheetahs is from bullock carts. So loaded up, we move off to look for black buck. We roll across the dry, hot plains, and every bump is re relayed from the wheels through the floorboards. The villagers have gathered to watch us depart, but soon we leave them behind, and out of the mirages and distorted heat waves, we pick out the forms of grazing black buck, true antelope. Through the long grass, a cheetah streaks after a buck. The trainer lifts the unsuccessful cheetah and our cart moves on. The black buck are not afraid of the bullock carts and eventually we approach closely to them. In India, cheetahs once ranged over country such as this, but now they are extinct. Another group of bucks are sighted and approached. The cheetah starts his run slowly and sets a pace and gauges the distance. He must husband his wind and strength for the final sprint and the kill. If his timing is poor, the buck will escape. The kill occurred out of camera range. Usually the cheetahs are trained to kill only buck. However, this cheetah is now too old, so she is released at a doe, overtakes it, turning a complete somersault in a vain attempt to bring her quarry down. Regaining her feet, she puts on speed and makes her kill. While the cheetah throttles her prey, Mohammedan trainers rush out, breathe a prayer, and cut the throat. If Nanobi desires the cheetah to run again, only a ladle of blood is offered. But if her work for the day is done, she is rewarded with a full meal. Another cheetah is prepared to run. Again we approach a herd.
Here the cheetah is filmed at normal speed. Bapa estimates their top speed at 80 miles an hour. Fortunately for us, the buck turns and runs towards us. In slow motion, both animals streak by, a study of two perfect runners in action. The cheetah trips his quarry and then attempts to get a stranglehold while the buck fights valiantly and the trainers rush to aid the cheetah. The successful cheetah is hooded and well fed. At times, the cheetah may catch two or three bucks a day, but usually one is the limit. The life of an Indian prince is one of sport and excitement. We feel fortunate to have experienced it.